Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum and today we're doing a two-gun match South African style. I have an R5 Galil clone uh, that I built after being given the Armson OEG optic for it by a friend in South Africa. Uh, this is of course a pseudo red dot. You have to have both eyes open and this presents a black background with a red dot in it. So the eye looking through this sees the dot, other eye sees your target and your brain interposes the two together. Uh, it is a concept that was pretty revolutionary early on and is totally obsolete now, but this particular one is made specifically to mount on the gas tube of a South African Galil. So uh, we went all South African style here for it. So we've got a South African chest rig with some ammo. We've got three stages today and if I get hungry over the course of them, I have Biltong as well. So. Let's dive right in and start off with stage one. Are you ready, sir? Ready. Stand by. Hit. 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 All right, that went better than I thought, and I didn't leave myself all bloody. The thing you have to practice not doing is not closing one eye as soon as you try to take a sight picture, because you have to have both eyes open with this. And it actually did better than I was anticipating. So the misses I had were totally me. That was me rushing the shot before I had a, a proper sight picture. But for this sort of range, this thing does really a lot better than I expected. Let's see how it does on stage two. All right, for this one, we've got two targets at a 200 yards and three targets at about 150 yards. And I have to make one hit on every target from all five positions. So 25 hits, if I can do it, in under three minutes. And at 200, the target's basically smaller than the dot in this thing. So, here we go. Okay. Are you ready, sir? Ready. Stand by. Hit. I left. Hit. Left. Hit. Hit! Hit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep it up! You got it! <sighs> Left! Hit! Low! Hit! 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 Left. Low left. 
High right. Left. High left. High left. Hit. Left side target. High left. Hit. Last one. did really well at first and then for some reason I just lost my focus and it got really hard to actually uh, see both the dot and the target. There were a couple times there when I literally just saw a black circle with a dot and I couldn't get my brain to interchange both eyes. So you kind of have to come back, blink a bit, re you know, move your head around, get a new sight picture. This thing was not meant for 200 yards but it worked a lot better than I expected. I am thrilled that I managed to get them all under the par time. All right, this one we're gonna be shooting through a VTAC barricade, which means lots of weird angles and sideways shots with an OEG. Are you ready, sir? Ready. Stand by. Hit. Hit. Currently I'm working on a 718. Hit. You're off to the right. Off to the left. Still left. Move it low. Move it low. Other target. Ow. So the issue I'm having is I have to be able to see the target with my non-shooting eye and these holes are small enough that my non-shooting eye can't see the target. I can see the target through this eye, but over here, all I can see is the, the actual target stand. 
And so your brain can't interpose the target and the dot. It's interposing blank target stand and the dot. So I can't actually see the target. Uh, I did. I tried making some shots and every one of them, this little muzzle brake kicks up a ton of dust and I have to let it reset for a couple seconds. But I just, there is no sight picture, which is something that I had never considered. I actually ran into that at the top level of the VTAC. If you notice, my first shot I tried to take from, you know, just just barely putting the muzzle through, and then I switched to stuffing as much of the handguard through as I could. And that was so that I could get my, my actual eyesight closer to the barricade so that I could see the target with my off eye <laughs> through the barricade. I, like, repeating myself now, but I never expected that that would actually be a practical issue. It makes sense now that I've seen it happen, but I did not predict that that would be an issue with this particular type of optic. Uh, All right, that was legitimately one of the most interesting two-gun matches I have done in a very long time. Because, frankly, th these three stages were about the worst possible things I could have come up with to run this sort of optic on, and frankly, if I'd known that all of the stages were going to involve crawling around in the dirt, I would have worn some neat elbow pads. But I was able to actually not, not shred myself very badly. And by putting this in as difficult of an environment as this match was, really learned a couple of interesting things about the OBG. Um, it is capable at longer ranges. The dot in this is about the size of a silhouette target at 200 yards. So. Make sure your zero is good. Fortunately, I had this well zeroed before I came here. Um, I never would have guessed the issue with the like the barricades, the VTAC, and uh, limited visibility targets. So that was really interesting to find out. Overall, it's super cool, and it is totally impractical. There is absolutely no reason, no benefit to having this over any sort of remotely modern red dot. These were you know, in the 60s and 70s, before you could really get a red dot, these had some absolute value to them. Today, they really don't. And in fact, today, because they're cool and unusual, the values are, the prices are actually higher on these things than they are on a lot of low-end, but perfectly functional red dot sites that are way better in real use. So, anyway, um, that's been a two-gun match with an R5 and an Armstrong OEG. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.